Hello everybody, it's Thursday morning. It's warmer at Musakili today. Yesterday was so cold, do you remember? Well, let's count in tens. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. We like Granny's drinking tea. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, <coughs> 110, 120. Let's go backwards. 120, 110, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Let's count to 10 fast. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's count backwards. Get a space rocket ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off. There we go. Now today we're going to work with our blue cards. I didn't tell mommy to have them ready or dad to have them ready. You're going to work with me and afterwards you and the adult who's helping you is going to play the same game with you. So my number is, that's right, number two. Where do you think I should put it? Over there, near that side. Now I have this number. Number seven. Seven is quite after number two, so maybe I should go there. I am trying to sort my blue cards into the order from zero to ten. This number is number eight. Where shall I put number eight? Shall I put it here? No, because eight comes after seven. So there we go. Now I'm looking at this number. Number 10. Number 10 will be over here. Will it be next to 8? No, because it's 8, 9, 10. I need to leave a space for number 9. Let's have a look. There we go. I found number 9 and he's happy that there was a space for him. There we go. I'm looking at seeing what this number is. Number 1. Just before number 2. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here goes this number, number four. Is it gonna go there? No. Is it gonna go there? Mm, what do I need to do? One, two, three, four. I need to move it over so number three has a space. This one's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's number zero. This is the only number that has three names. Do we remember their names? Zero, naught, nothing. I wonder if you could help me guess what's missing. Zero, one, two, hmm, what's this number? Hmm, number three. Zero, one, two, three, four, hmm, hmm. What will these two numbers be? Four, that's it. Four, five, six. So let's have a look. There's number six. Does number six go over here? No. Number six goes next to number seven. Here is number five. Does it go there? No. Number five comes after four. And here's number three. Right. Let's see if we can say a little round. Zero, the hero. Fun, number one. Number two, buckle my shoe. Number three, bend your knee. Number four, knock on the door. Number five, snakes alive. Number six, clever tricks. Number seven, up to heaven. Number eight, don't be late. Number nine, washing on the line. Number ten, a big fat hen. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Now watching me, I'm looking for the biggest number. Which is the biggest number? Number 10, yes. Now I'm looking for the number that is between 3 and 5. 3 and 5, 3 and 5. 
What number? Number four. I need the number after seven. The number after seven is, that's right, eight. The number before three, before. Remember, before we don't open our mouth big because it's a smaller number. Now I'm looking for number six. What comes after six? Look at my big mouth. After. I want a big bite. Bigger than six is seven. It comes after. Well done. So you and your adult can play lots of games with these. Sorting them, guessing before, after, in between, bigger, smaller. You know so many games that you can play. This time, after midterm, to the end of the big term, we are doing what's called recap. Recap means we're just doing it again to make sure that our clever brains have remembered. Do you remember when we had another lesson about the insects? We called it consolidation. Same thing. Recap and consolidation just means do it again, make sure you know it. That's all for now, kids. See you later, alligators. In a while, crocodile.